Hi everyone! Today Nelvin and I will be looking at some classic Hungarian dishes and Nelvin's job is to match the side dishes that typically go with some of the main dishes that I'm showing him on the tablet. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes! Let's go! So here we have five main dishes on the top, okay. or like, yeah, like the, 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 the main course. Yeah. And at the bottom you have five side dishes. Okay. And I included the names of them Thank in Hungarian. <laughs> so <clears throat> your job is to, to match them. I added some little arrows for you to, to work on this very modern presentation. <laughs> okay. All right, so the five main dishes we have is harcha paprikos, kosh, harcha paprikash, kash. Harcha you want to guess paprikash. what that is? Or like, um, kind of like, from the picture? You can zoom in if you want. Yeah, I would think like this is like bell pepper goulash or something, a uh, stew. Close. Goulash, yeah. It's fish. It's catfish. It's fish. Oh, oh. Yeah, catfish. So ha harcha like a stew. is catfish. Harcha is catfish and paprikash just means that it's a stew with sour cream. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you can see the sour cream. Yeah. <coughs> then we have uh, rantot hoosh. And this is a schnitzel, that's I guess? That's exactly a schnitzel, yes. And hoosh is chicken? <laughs> hoosh is meat. Ah, hoosh is meat. So that's like fried meat. Ah, it's very schnitzel, like, like this very picture schnitzel, yeah. is schnitzel. It, I mean, it is schnitzel. Yeah. <laughs> then we have vodosh. Vodosh. Um, I don't know, that looks like steak to me or like beef or mutton yeah. with some beef is right. pumpkin sauce oh no 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 <laughs> pumpkin is not something you find in like uh, hungarian dishes <laughs> not uh, traditional ones anyway because they're like just gravy are they not it's kind of gravy okay. yeah so vadash is the sauce it's uh, the, the kind of gravy and uh, yeah so it's usually poured onto I mean, we normally make it from beef, but you can use a Any kind meat. of meat. Yeah. Okay. Probably not chicken. That's not a very common. Thing <laughs> this the sauce doesn't pair well okay. with the chicken. Okay. Oh, I yeah. have to try the sauce then. Yeah. Then we have a Parisi. Parisi. Parisi, shallot. 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 But shallot sounds like salad. <laughs> oh, it definitely is not. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. No, they look like three huge chunk of meat. Yeah. Are they just fried? They look very similar to schnitzel, though. It is, yeah. Is it just like it's a different chunk? kind of um, like uh, breading around uh, the, the the meat? Okay. But it's basically it's similar, but it's so it's like fried meat. Fried meat, yeah, yeah. kind of. But it's called like a Parisian. Parisian salad. Cut. Yeah, cut. Like salad is like a cut ah, of meat. Okay, yeah. I get it now. Ah, okay. Sh yeah. Salad. Salad. But like, like salad with, with the, the schnitzel, yeah. you get the breadcrumbs on the outside, yeah. but this is just flour and eggs. Ah, okay. So that's why it looks a little different. Okay. Then finally, the last main dish is ma maha pur It looks like some kind of beef soup. It's a beef stew. Okay. This is what uh, uh, non-Hungarian European countries refer to as goulash. Ah, <laughs> ah so this is but what you call goulash. I mean, they call no, it no, goulash. No, we don't call it. Yeah, you don't call it goulash. <laughs> you call this moha perko. Moha perko, yeah. So it's like a beef stew. Okay, so well, that one I cannot have, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> but for the sides, we have zut krumpli. Oh, shoot krumpli. Which is so that's fries. Like, yeah, it's fries. <laughs> Just pomus fritters. Yeah. Uh, that, oh, that's a cute name. Rizzi Bizzi. Rizzi Bizzi. I love that word. Rizzi Bizzi. It's, it's like a side of like a pea field rice that you get exactly. from Asian shops here yeah, too. Yeah it's, yeah, it's rice with peas. Oh, uh, Rizzi Bizzi. Oh, this is so cute. I like the name. I love it too. So. Then you, we have uh, Jemle. Jemle. Jemle Gombot. Jemle Gombot. Jemle gombot. 
This looks like n o o d l e It is. So it's like potato, dumplings? Um, it's the bread one. Ah, like it's the bread zemek one. Okay. It's exactly in Zemek. So, I mean, we stay ah. in the regions. <laughs> That's true because of the Zemle. Yeah, Zemle is Zemle. Okay. Yeah. And then Nokedli, which is,、um, it looks like a、uh, spätzle. Yeah, it is yeah. basically. <laughs> pretty much. But we don't fry it, we just boil it.、Uh-huh. We, yeah. I have no idea what to call this in English. I only mean, know like, these、it's, terms in German. It's like tiny little dumplings. Yes, that's Very true. Very buttery, tiny little dumplings. Spätzle. Do you. I、like fatty. Now I'm just wondering, do you eat it with kids?、Uh, well, you'll find、yes. out. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have、uh, Turosh Chusa. 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 Turosh Chusa. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Turosh Chusa. Turosh Chusa. It's cheese, it seems. Yeah? With like cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, but then the pieces ones are also like cheese sheets, or are they not? No, <gasps> that's like a pasta, like a type of、oh. pasta that's chusa that refers to this kind of like this shape of I pasta. I remember you m a k e that one before. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Turos chusa. And that's like pieces of bacon on it. That is so. Oh no, that's so familiar. <laughs> That would be really bad if I don't get anything. Okay,、so、let's try this. I think、uh, the easiest one, at least I hope I'm right, is the rantot, rantot、uh, hush with zu- shoot crumply. Because schnitzel and fries go s together. Schnitzel with pommes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go very far to,、no. <laughs> to find that around here. All right, then now. Are you can. Easy. Uh, no, you can't. No, you can't. Yeah. Really busy. I feel like, okay, what would the outside known goulash <laughs> pair with? Is it really busy or is it no catly?、Mm-hmm. Or maybe not either. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is hard. Okay, I think, so judging from a European kind of habit, I feel like your rice would go with something with a more. Saucy base, I would say. So, my guess goes to Harcha Paprikas. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like something saucy goes with something、um, rice based, and because it's、mm-hmm. fish and paprika, it feels like it should go together.、Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, for Spätzle. <laughs> no Kedli. <laughs> no Kedli.、Um, I feel like it also has to go with something saucy. So, my guess is either more h o p e r k e r t or Vadosh.、Uh, vadosh. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna say it goes with more h o p e r k e r t Okay. And you, oh wait, but the. Zemle Kunitula. Zemle Kunitula. Zemle Gombot. Zemle Gombot. Also, Gombots also need something saucy. But I don't think Vadosh is saucy enough for it. But for now, I'm gonna place it like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which leaves the Parisi s a l a d with Turosh Chusa. Okay. I'm not 100% sure.、Happy? This is my、Maybe、first guess.、Know. I guess you'll tell me how many rights and wrongs、yes. I get. Yeah. I- I'll tell you which ones you got right. Okay. So, Ranta t u s h s h u t r u m p l i Okay. Very good. Like. <laughs> You have been to a cafeteria in Germany <laughs>、yes. anywhere. <coughs> so, very good. Yes. But, okay,、mm, first I、it. have to point out this isn't like the only sign that you can get with these. So, these are just very typical pairings that you see on the restaurant menu or you do make at home. So, obviously, you can have rice with your schnitzel or, or mashed potatoes or、yeah. whatever, but this is like a very typical.、Common. Pairing. Yes. Then you guessed right, Vadash with j e m l e g o m b o t And、uh, that's why that picture looks really weird because I couldn't <laughs> find a single picture where they weren't displayed together. <laughs> this, this is interesting. <laughs> Then let's see. Marha Perka no Kedli. That's also correct. So I think I've seen this quite often in restaurants that serve、mm-hmm. goulash like 
dish. Spetzel, yeah, yeah, then they will serve it with spetzel. So I was yeah. like, oh, most likely it will be like that. That's, that's very common in, in Bavaria and in Austria as well. Like mm-hmm. you, you get the, the deer goulash with uh, the, the spetzel. Yes. Like mm-hmm. That's very, very common. But it's also that I cannot have it because it looks so delicious. Like the, <laughs> the, the stew just looks so flavored, yeah. you know? Yeah, oh. it, it, it's, it's good. I mean, when we make it at home, if we don't really want to bother with the, the dumplings because you know that you have to make the dough and mm. then you have to boil it and da, 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 da. Yeah. it takes a while sometimes you just have it with like plain boiled potatoes okay. and that goes really well as well because oh. the potato takes up the, the yes. sauce oh that's true yeah. nice so that means that hot chop of Likash and Padiji Salat have the wrong Which slice. means they swap <laughs> so with then... each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which means the Parisi Salat gets Rizi Bizi uh, <laughs> and hot chop paprikash gets Turosh Chusa. So when... Oh yes, that's have... right. No, it's right. Now that, <laughs> now fish... that I see it, yes, it's right. <laughs> oh. So that was the my first thought when I started thinking about this video that oh yeah this has to be in it because it can look <coughs> absurd because both of these look like a sort of main dish yes. itself but it's very very typical to pair the, the the fish stew with these kind of like noodles or pasta yes. it's, it sounds weird when you call it like that because it's like a very specific <laughs> thing like you don't really have this type of pasta in any other dish yes um, yeah, yeah now, so this is very very it. typical yeah, yeah it's coming back to me <laughs> yeah and it it actually goes really well together so because yes. you would put like even if you eat two roche on its own you put a decent amount of sour cream on top mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah that's very very nice and then Parisi said at Rizzi Bizzi, that was my granddad's favorite dish, oh. <laughs> like in, in a restaurant. Um, so yeah, it's just like a, a cut of meat. It's usually pork mm-hmm. with the peas in the rice. That and just looks really dry to me now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is. Because there's no sauce. So, like with the, the schnitzel and with um, this, this other type of schnitzel, basically, <laughs> um, you normally get... Um, like a pickle dish oh. or a sauce like like here you get like ketchup the, or mayo or, or the pomace sauce yeah. or uh, yeah I mean if it's I mean, if, if it's veal Germany, if yes. it's veal then you get like cranberry sauce but in Germany even with like uh, uh, putten schnitzel so the turkey okay, one yeah. you also get this cranberry yeah. sauce with it yeah but it's very common so if you go to like a Hungarian restaurant you get the menu and mm-hmm. at the end you know how you have like side dishes yeah, yeah. and the desserts and everything so between the side dishes and the dessert there's a section for like pickle dishes oh. so like side salads kind of yeah. And you get like pickled tomatoes, um, cucumber salad. Yeah. Oh, nice. And as you can see, we have like 10 dishes here with one single vegetable. <laughs> the peas in the That's rice. true. That's true. That's like, we're not big no, on you our have vegetables. No, you have paprikash. Yeah, but like you cook away like oh, that's true. all of <laughs> there's, there's not much vegetable left in there. So obviously we have dishes with vegetables. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was another video idea. Is it vegetarian or not? Um, but I think my grandma at least, and I think a lot of people mm. would agree with me on this, can make any vegetarian looking and sounding dish into non-vegetarian by using lard. <laughs> Like, yeah, but that's they can't right. see it. It's lard and not butter. Yeah, that's not the point. <laughs> is butter vegetarian? Yes, it is. It's just butter not vegan. Butter is vegetarian, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, yes. Nice. Ooh, I want but to that was that. very, very good going. Like, you got three out of five on the yeah. first go. Well done. <laughs> I know my food. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Now we have to taste all of these. Yeah. Na Nevin, how did you the video? Nagyon tetszett, de nekem a Forking Tomatoes összes videóját tetszik. Ezek szerint már feliratkoztál? Hát persze! Meg eltesítéseket is kapok, mert rákattintottam a csengőre. 
Kövessétek ti is Nelvin jó példáját, és ti sem fogtok lemaradni az új videóinkról.